Right. Right. Oh, yep. Yeah, I got it. I, I think I did, but I don't think I cleared it all. Yeah. Okay. So first we have to make, um, whoops. Um, regular medium boxes, right? Oh, it is? Okay. Godspeed. Some goo. Okay. Goo bug dust. Okay. All right. There's a bunch of bug dust there. And put it all away. And then we need dirt. I'm going to go dig up some dirt. Right. Well, it's being used, so it's all right. I got gotcha. you. All right. So how, how much goo did we need? Okay. I just made 20. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> no frills. Yeah, no, totally. Okay. Let me escape out of this. There we go. Are they part of a recipe? Okay. Yeah, I need the resin too for fireball too. Are we gonna are we gonna find uh, better spells or something else? Okay. What did you need regular wood for? Okay. Okay. 
Jones. Oh, okay. Second, let me make sure it all. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let me go grab um, some water. Refill on that real quick. And then I'll be ready to go. <clears throat> yeah, it might be handy to know where some of the other wells are so you can just like, teleport to them or get to them. <clears throat> Right. Uh, speaking of which, we we have the linen, I think. <clears throat> right, where are we teleporting to? Okay. Okay. Oh, I saw it. I'm I'm on my way. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. Um, I don't remember. Actually, I've used it. Ah. Okay, hold on. All these uh, dark, darker trees. I'm trying to get uh, some resin from. As I come across them. Yeah, I like that one there. Because you needed resin for something else, too. Oh, okay. Good, good. Oh, yeah, for sure. No doubt. Actually, quite a bit. Resin. Getting better stuff. Yeah. Makes 
sense. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Got a boar coming after you. Okay. No, we can do it. I don't. Doesn't matter to me what we do. Oh, didn't quite get through it all. <clears throat> good, good, good. Nice. Good for the experience. Oh! That's right. All you have to do is block and let you them. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> those things are funny. Oh, dead end. Or not. Looks like it. What? That's weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's explode that thing. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> that could have been bad. We even do we need more copper? I'm sure we do. I mean, we're here. So I was thinking, I mean, why would we time, right? Okay. 
Oops. Right. There's a bunch up here though, still. I mean, it's here, right? We're here, it's here. Might as well. Do we get to make bronze pickaxes and things? Getting close to leveling up, too. No, pretty close. Ah. <clears throat> well, now that I have a lightning wand, I'm going to go ahead and put points into the, the lightning part of the wizard tree that I've skipped. Mine right where, right where we are here, just don't hit the pepper. Seem to get stoned pretty easy. Okay. Okay. Alright. Fly! Okay. Howard, hello. Welcome, Howard. Hi. There we go. All right, there we go. Sure, we're going stone specific. some of these parts since I was making some goo. I used some up. Uh, no. <clears throat> Not yet. Yeah. How are you doing today, Howard? Are you driving? Oh, you're looking at, like, dumping stuff? Ah. Okay. Level, level 18! Okay, let me check my skills real quick. Because now I can actually do the thunder stuff. Ah, two out of three. Dang. Bummer. Oh, I'm in the shop again. Okay. Oh. Let's see. 
what is this place? <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice, huh? Is it because we're inside? Okay. Oh, he actually hit me. <laughs> the bat's running away from me, trying to kill it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I was... I don't remember what I put in there. Alright. You know how we're talking to the, the, the little human? She was in... She was over here. Uh, oh, how, um, this is, I'm playing with Doc, Howard. All right. I mean, can... I'd say, is it weird that maybe he can't hear you? Nobody has said that yet? That'd be weird. Oh, Doc is talking. Oh, okay. All right, he can hear you. Good. Okay. Make sure you hear us both, at least. There we go. And repair everything. There we go. Everything's repaired. You only hear me talking? Well, that's weird. He can't hear you. Let me, um, let me see if I can figure that one out. That's weird. It never happens. Let me go to Discord first. Um, do do do. Where are you? Here you are. And yeah, your volume is up. I can hear you just fine. Um, yeah, that's possible, but that's really strange. Oh, it did get disconnected on the OBS side. I don't even know how. Um, let's see. I don't think that's right. Try talking again. Nope, no, nope, that didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why it's um, it's not picking up your sound. Let's do. Uh, Advanced audio, alerts, desktop audio. It all says active. Game capture, it's all active. 
Um, wow, that's that's really strange that I it's not picking up your sound. I don't know if it'll let me do that in the middle of streaming. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's different. Push to talk's not set up. Uh, output, um, audio. <clears throat> Audio's good. Everything's set to default like it normally is. Huh. That's really strange. Let me get back to the to the game real quick. Okay. So the game sounds are fine. But yeah, but your the Discord is not. Hmm. I've never had it had that problem before. <clears throat> yeah, I just put everything on desktop audio and I've never had that problem. It's never not done anything. Um, I'm going to go back to, to Discord real quick. Um, you're not muted. I can hear you just fine. Um, that's so weird. Yeah. So yeah, Howard's saying you can hear the game and me only. Okay. Ah, right. Oh, wow. Hmm. Voice and video. Okay. Oh, wait, I think there's a, yeah, there's a resin lamp right there. That's right. Okay. I think I fixed it. All right. I'll talk for a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta go back this way. Yeah. That's funny. Howard's like, the reason I was asking, it sounds like I was talking to myself. Um, yeah. Okay. Now well, we're, we're definitely glad the asking occurred because <laughs> we never would have known otherwise. Right. Okay. I think I think I got it fixed because I can see when you're talking, the desktop audio is lighting up now. I was and it was for uh, the Howard's yep. temp of approval. Yep, yep. Howard Howard sees he hears you. Okay, so it was actually Discord that changed something to Discord, which makes oh, sense because okay. Discord does that a lot. Yeah, I know with you, it, with you, it's been doing that a lot. Yeah, it hasn't happened that much with me, but I know I know, I know it's. it's Basically, Resets whenever on there's me. like an issue with uh, talking between us, we're like, did you check your Discord? Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's almost always my Discord, isn't it? All right, health potion. Well, I also I went and got another crucible. We also got a 
Another five resins. There was a lamp there. Fire in your veins, okay. I love those little lanterns where it's just like, here is a lantern. Pick it up, get five resin. Okay. <clears throat> I'm like, yes, please. 20 more spells. Oh, need uh, more fire bricks oh. from another smelt. I need more than that. Those. No. Oh, it's completely out. There we go. Now we go. Now I have 89 spells. Thanks, Howard, for pointing that out. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Are you willing to join me to grab a little bit of clay? Yeah, where are we going? We... I'm going to the uh, the, the ancient spine in the Ripplewood. I'm going to fly down and just grab a little bit of clay uh, <laughs> because we're currently out. I have and crappy Discord. Everybody has the same Discord, than... though. Maybe I have a test version or an old or Maybe I need to hit those updates. Uh, where'd you fly to? Oh, I see. Yeah, down here. There's just clay. There's just clay everywhere. I mean, it works. We'll need some. We also, I will want to keep some clay as lumps of clay and not fired bricks. Because I've seen a number of uh, recipes, even the ones we have right now, that also use lumps of clay. Okay. Like, you can make a crucible. You don't have to go get it. Uh, but it needs lumps of clay, not fired bricks. But yeah, I'm just working. I'm just gonna I'm just grabbing clay. Okay. Clay, clay, clay. There we go. Here's the clay. Oh, oh, you didn't hit the side of the cliff like I did. Nope. I missed. Oh yeah, there's this is a huge chunk of the clay down here. The um, it threw me off. I, I, I wanted the the brown trees. I thought that was clay, so that's why I started flying towards. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, no, typically whenever I need clay, I just uh, travel to that tower, fly over here, and I'm like, alright, I got a wall of clay to get. This is my spot every time. I'll get a hundred clay for now and then go back. Uh, with you getting some clay too, it'll be, that'll be good for a while. Should have brought honey. I did not. Now, uh, that's a like, good idea, yeah. For my uh, stamina to come back. I guess I've gotten some better food recipes in my solo world. The downside to having these better food recipes that last a long time, because they are really nice with how long they last, you don't have to think about it. Yeah, switch them. But anytime you're trying to go, yeah, whenever you're trying to swap between, oh, I'm doing exploration, you gotta go mining, you have to just be like, oh, well, I'm not using that anymore because I can't. Ooh, Valheim had that problem when it first came out, and then it introduced a new food that makes you throw up. <laughs> yeah. That's what this game needs. I hear about that. Yeah. I'm also, um, you're actually up there. The carpentry camp that's southwest of you. Uh, we yeah. have a we have a quest and a quest log still there. We were there before and we just oh. didn't do that that one specific quest. I just double checked my quest log and saw we had something. We had a chest thing there, so I'm okay. flying over there to grab it. I think it'll count for both the quests. What should since that other thing got. All the sharing stuff got fixed. Yeah. That's why I think it'll work properly. Got stunned by a boar. Yep. Discord is crappy for everyone then. Yep. Just uh, I just for the problems to for these stuff. That's all. Uh, that was sad. That was very sad. What? So when I did that quest in my solo world, I got a legendary item. So I, I just assumed that the que that quest chest always gave you a legendary item. Oh. It gave us a rare level 13 one. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because it would be level 13 item anyway. But still, it's still not good. Gonna, hey, it's an extra legendary thing. But it was a rare item instead. That is lame. So sad. Okay, I'm traveling <laughs> back. I'm going to throw some... Uh, I'm going to get some more fired bricks going. Okay. Uh, so we don't. Uh, so we don't need the the second smelter yet. We'll need it later on. So I'm just gonna throw some stuff in here. Okay. Get that cooked in. I if this is one of the places where like you get down, and get all this stuff. 
Probably. Are you making chamomile tea yet? Huh? Chamomile tea? Can you make that? Yeah, yeah we have chamomile tea. I have, I have some okay. of them on me. Okay, I was just checking because there's chamomile here and I was grabbing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, oh, we need more water. Um, oh, what do we need we to make, make our own well tea. again? Uh, we need the masonry tools. The masonry tools, okay. Uh, the, pl okay. The, place where we're, the place where we're at where we, is where we can get the masonry tools. Okay. And that unlocks the next tier of stuff for us. All right. So we have a portal right there. So that's where we're going to head back to. Right. I just right. got distracted and was like, oh, yeah, we should make a second smelter. And I was like, oh, let me go grab a crucible. And then uh, I was like, oh, we need clay for this. We need clay for that. So I, got, I just got all distracted on the way. For I got you. Stuff. All right. I'm going to come back then because I got my clay and everything, too. All right. And clay is upstairs, right? Somewhere. I mean, back. it's uh, we don't need to put it in there anymore. We can, we can throw it in these chests for now. Oh, okay. We don't have any room in these chests now. See, that's what I'm talking about. In this space. And we'll be making a bigger chest soon. Um, okay. okay. So the well, double check, make sure there's nothing else we need for the one we get it. Uh, no, we have everything we need besides the masonry tools. Besides the masonry tools. Else, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm ready to head back over that direction. There's two things we can do over there. Would be nice. Okay. Not me. Not yet. I gotta gotta re dump stuff off. The best year building. Okay. I need an empty spot for. Play. Uh. Well, one of the things you can do that I just did is you can feel yeah. free to delete some of like the tier one spells that we don't actually need anymore. Yeah. Well, that and that. I'm like, oh yeah, that works. We're so disorganized that I think there's there's certain things that are in multiple boxes. Yeah, and that that will end up happening. Even in my solo world, it's just it happens so easily. Yeah. There we go. But I, I have a giant storage room in my solo oh. world, so that... Yeah, I, I have an entire chamber dedicated that has, like, 20 storage boxes in it. I must have put something away and I didn't space. mean to. Um, I don't know what it is I put away. Uh, ice bolt level 1, I don't need that. Yeah, I, I deleted some of the... the, the Level one heal spells. I'm like, well, we're not actually going to use okay. these ever. Oh, the chain heal. That's what I put away on accident. Okay. Mm. I grabbed it. We would like to keep that around. Are okay. you ready to go teleport? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, where did we uh, go? There's two things we can do at the new one we just placed. We'll fast travel there. We can do the Southern Caravan quest because it's literally right next to it. Okay. And then we can move to masonry tools. Now nah, hurry up. Alright. I've never actually entered the way it wants us to enter. Uh, when I came here, I just I had a uh, a flame altar up above. Okay. Oh, let's say that's an enemy, right? Yeah, we got a nice move to brawl, it's like. Aw, oh, man. Move too fast. Now, the trick I've learned with the Booker Brawlers, I need to. Uh, uh, what? Really? You don't normally do that when I have to stay close to you. The way I've been fighting Booker Brawlers lately is I stay close, so I try to get the AI back, but I still use my. Uh, because uh, the melee attack you use that you dodge, but it, ju it like jump and slam. The, the timing uh, to successfully dodge it is such a small window that I can't get a control. We are unorganized, yes, Howard. Yeah. 
There you go. I won't be able to use it yet. But there we go. I got my level 16 axe. Nice. I got another Buka Brawler head. Yeah, I won't use it yet because I need to, uh, I need to re-spec next time I go back to base. But, okay. you know, that that's the, uh, that's the guaranteed level 16 axe drop that I was talking about before that I wanted to get because that's how me as a melee player gets my upgrades. You gotta do the guaranteed stuff. Actually, if you're willing to assist me, yeah, we can we can get we can do what I did in my other world, which is get two of them. Two what? Two of the weapons. I always carry oh. around two melee weapons. Oh, okay, so I got gotcha. you. If I do this, uh -oh. I can just go back in. Yeah, do this. We go back in. We can fight it again, and I get the second one, and then I'm all set until gotcha. I'm set for a while. I'll have a I'll have a new weapon. Because, yeah, I need, you need, uh, for a lot of circumstances, two melee weapons or two weapons to swap between uh, helps because. Yeah, because yeah, of the repair. Spots, you're... Yeah. yeah, repair is a thing. Okay. And I learned that very, very well when I was doing the dungeons. Doing the, doing the dungeon solo, I was literally breaking both my weapons and having to run all the way back to the previous Jeez. repair station that was so far away. It's crazy. There's just so many enemies to fight solo um, that, yeah, you would just destroy your weaponry. Brawler. Man, I like getting the backstab damage. When he's turned around facing you, I get backstab, backstab oh, damage. Yeah. Oh, I think he's stuck. Oh, maybe not. Not fully, but uh, sort of. And he's dead. Blam. I got booted. Okay, yeah, no, well, he I did that on purpose. <laughs> what? Getting booted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize because... that's what you were talking about, though, so it kind of did surprise me. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dad. Hi, Jamma. Yes, that's what I was talking about saying. So now I have two of the weapon. So, yeah, uh, Howard, the reason I did that is... Um, Greed. That boss drops <laughs> a guaranteed level 16 legendary melee weapon. And considering uh, I don't get legendary melee weapons... And you going for the guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, and the random. The yeah. random drops don't uh, favor him at all. No. Uh, like it's, I said, in my solo world, until I got I got super lucky the, uh, the other day. Before that, I was using level 16 melee weapon and, like, level 18 and level 20 uh, legendary wand and, and bow. The game loves to give me legendary bows. Although when I'm playing with you, it will give me legendary uh, stats too. And long. Yeah. There we go. Drop that bat. But when I when I play solo, wants would be a ranged uh, character. Mm -hmm. Cheesing. Yes, we were cheesing. Yes, cheesing. Oh, I mean, it's no different than it's coming a... back next week and doing it, right? Well, also it's a game back mechanic. An hour and a half, uh, because it uh, it will respawn in an hour and a half. Hmm. It just, I don't want to have to remember to come back in an hour and a half. Ooh. Oh, really? You can get that as a drop here? That is awesome. Uh, also, here you go. If you haven't used these before. Ooh. Nope, I have not. Yeah. Uh, I I have never used them, Uh, but I, I've watched James and Michelle play this in the past, and James was doing Mage and was like... Mm -hmm. He loved that thing. Yeah, I've heard it's the, one of the best spells. Yeah. We also got antiseptic. Uh, antiseptic from that is awesome. Hmm. That's how you make that new bandage, huh? That, yeah, you need it to make the uh, the better bandage. That's good. Double jumping glide. Yeah. Yes, that makes sense. What, once once again, double jump uh, bypasses all the difficulty the game has set for it. It's just like, 
we want you to do this. And he's like, how about, how about no? Ooh, Whisper of Light Potion. Yeah, these, ooh, we really got bone dust from that. Uh... Glow dust. Yeah, glow dust is good, because that's how we make Whisper of Light. I, I hate farming, oh, copper Al bar. Alchemist cool. space, yep. Greater mana potion, uh -huh. okay. But yeah, no, the drop, the Ooh, what's way in we the going? drop table for those has gotten so good. Uh, approximately this way. Okay. I just, I can't even decide if I can break more of these. <laughs> Walking in free fired bricks, yeah. So for a while, oh wait, what am I doing? These small ones you can just hit with the axe and it breaks and it's, the attack animation is slightly quicker. Um, um there, there's a, nice. uh, level 16 bronze epic sword in here. Ooh, pass it to me, that'd be awesome, I'll take it. And then, whoops. Ooh, more and antiseptic, it. and more... And really? Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Um, we just got a, yep. we just got a free bronze bar from a shelf over here. Nice. Um, I think I got better that boots. Is... Some mystic boots. Oh, yeah, Mystic, because now we're technically in the third biome, so you can start getting yeah. the third biome gear. Yeah, um, Yeah, cool. so Mystic, mystic set mm -hmm. is the uh, Found in the Wild mage set, and then you also have okay. the mage that you can craft. Like a okay. But yeah, nice. getting a free bronze bar is kind of crazy. I was not expecting to get that. Oops, that didn't help me. That, that's that bronze bar right there? That's 10. Where's... Oh, that's 10? Okay. I say, it didn't yeah, look like bronze, bar. but... Okay. We're getting all the free stuff. <laughs> yep, this is for double jumping live. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can get through this. Oh, we can. There's a silver chest over here. Ah. And, uh... Uh, we have two pieces of the, uh, the ranger set. I will pass this to you because it gives mana, so maybe you might want to use this chest piece. Um, no, let me check that out. Not guaranteed. But yeah, I mean, figure, take a look at it. What we really want to get for you is the mystic, uh, the mystic helmet. Oh my gosh, it's way better. Well, I mean, that it is a tier of equipment above. It's just oh. it's the uh, ranger set. Okay, so physical it's resistance a... is way better, um, and magical resistance is just slightly less, but a lot more physical. So I'm gonna take that. Yeah, it, it, I figured it matter. It depends on what the yeah. extra things are. I don't know what your chest was giving you. Like maybe your chest was giving you something really good, and you didn't want to lose that effect. Not really. Wait a minute. Where are we going now? Out through here. I'm just breaking every single thing because. Oh, okay. <laughs> We are getting insane oh, wow. stuff from them. Okay. Was that a prayer or flame scroll? No, it was an experience scroll. Oh, nice. That can catch up with me a little bit more. Because that's a, if you read it, it's 100 XP. Oops. Um. Okay. I know I'm still I'm so slightly ahead of you, and I think I got slightly more ahead because I did a little bit more mine than you did. So yeah, the XP scroll helps even us up. I am really happy this stuff is better now. And free fossilized bone is really good too. That was just stone. Oh, found ten bars just sitting on the bench there. Yeah, no, we got tin bars, we got, uh, we got bronze bars in here, like, it's not much of these things, but it is, what it is, it's really good in the way. Oh, another mm -hmm. exp experience scroll. <clears throat> I have so many experience scrolls sitting on my main character, and I can't use <laughs> them. Probably should have used them earlier, huh? Well, I keep getting more. I, I loop oh. these, and I get more of them. Uh, that might be where we need to go. I want to check this door. Oh yeah, this door just has a chest in it, so yeah. And it okay. is... I mean... I don't think this is good for you, but... An apprentice wand? Level 16? No. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Rare level 16 wand. I'll still pass it to you. I'm okay. curious. I doubt there's anything through here, but you know, whenever there's a doorway that's like this, I want to take a quick peek. We it might just go through where we came from, though. It might. It probably does. And I'm just curious about it. Oh, uh, no, it goes into a wall. Okay, so just, yeah, this is just a crumbled room. Oh, well, actually, it goes that direction now. <laughs> Do you have a torch on you you can take out? I don't. Do this. There you go. There's gonna be nothing back here, but I have yeah. to know. Right. Had to try. Yeah, I fi just physically had to know. There's. I mean, it goes further. Oh, it does kind of go back to one of the places we were. It's just, yeah. You you gotta bypass. Yeah. You could bypass some jumping stuff to uh, if you went <laughs> this way, but uh, not a huge reason to. Definitely not. Okay. It's hard. You you see that something just like yeah, oh. Huh? There was a button interaction. It's like oh, this thing to get left on the ground. No, it just uh, it was just the door. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh yeah, forgot how scary that is. I forgot how scary that is. Ooh. Hey, break some more stuff up. I mean, we still get the uh, the not amazing stuff as well from here, like single pieces of salt. But right. The uh, when we get the antiseptics and the random bars, that is more than makes up for it. That was I am both happy and sad that they made the drop rate so much better now. Oh, there's a. One second, I gotta hit that with the bow. I looked and saw that over there. I'm like, oh, yeah, nice. yeah I can probably hit that. Oh, there's another one over here, too. And this is the only reason I keep the ball <laughs> around. Is because the wand can't reach that far. No, but a staff can. Yeah, that's on both. Yeah. Regular chest. Oh. And it's just a regular chest, so, yeah, it's, uh... Some fossilized bone arrows, and then... Uh... Greater mana potion for you. And another prayer of flame scroll for you. Are you too far away? Oh, sorry. I was you running, I guess. You abandoned me. I can't give you a gift anymore. Mm -hmm. there you go. I'm keeping one prayer of flame scroll on me. Okay. Just uh, because it gives the extra minute in the shroud. So if we go to a shrouded area, it's useful to use. And the rest I'm giving to you. You okay. get so many of them. just like, yeah, I'll hold on to one. And then we got, oh, each obelisk too here. Ooh, nice. You get 200 experience for that. Yep. And it, it starts showing us where uh, some of the shred roots are. Oh, that's right. That's Boy, what that does, huh? It. Yeah, that's its point. More fossils. Oh, I just dust, got a feather. Dust. It's a feather for. Uh. The higher tier arrows start needing... Surprisingly, it takes all the way to bronze arrows before you need feathers for your arrows. Mm. How does it take wait that long? No idea, but it does. Mm. Maybe that's why their lower tier arrows are so bad. <laughs> okay. yeah, I did, it, bows can start feeling but like I was actually using uh, a really high level bow the other day and actually was doing some reasonable damage like, this is not this is not as terrible as it was because for me the bows were doing a similar amount of damage to the wands uh but it took longer to fire oh. it uh took longer to fire and ooh, refined stone blocks all right awesome okay um, more experience there yeah So yeah, the, uh, the bow took longer to fire, and also used consumable ammunition, which the uh, wands don't use. So it like okay. has more range than the wand, but didn't feel that good, honestly. Ah. 
Okay. I just found uh, more copper things. too. Yeah, I'm f on these little search files, I'm actually finding yeah. copper bars and stuff. Yep. The game's killing me. Because I got so used to being able to ignore these things because they're terrible most of the time. But now they're starting and to get good. Like, How about we make it so you want to search them? No. Yep, found some an antiseptic. Yeah. This is the game being tortured. Ooh, there is a hmm. silver chest up there. Oh, we can get that in a second. Okay. And then, do I have stone? Not on me. And then, if you mine the walls, you get limestone. Oh, okay. We don't we don't get stone as easy as we did before. Now we have to get now we get limestone. Oh, lockpick chest. And it is Ooh. New shield. Nice. So what's uh limestone used for building? Yeah, it's used for building stuff and a few other things. Mainly for building. Uh so yeah, it takes a little it takes a little more work for us to get uh stone when we're out and about in these places. Normally when I'm trying to make a, uh, ooh, I see it right now. Ooh, got calm. Because everything's limestone. Mm -hmm. New shield. Ooh, this also has a, this place has a Vuka blessing. Yes, please. Vuka. I don't know where you went now. Uh, I went out the door right next to you. The pathway out. Oh, okay. And I'm just beating up a bunch of VUCA. Okay. Decided to try some mining. Okay. Leave some of the stuff I don't care about on their bodies. All right, but now we're able to head back. I do want to put a. I'll delete the flame altar down below. Uh, oh. And place a new one up here. Well, I'll place a new <laughs> one up here, then delete the one down below. Okay. Um. But yes, yeah, so this will give us uh, a better teleporting here. So the. Okay. This biome is split into is split verticality. You have the down oh. below and up above. Okay. Oh, what is this? Uh, bell peppers. Hmm. Yes, new food. Is that another dexterity food? Yeah. Seems like all the vegetables are dexterity food. Yeah. Um, we actually need we want to pick up a lot of these bell peppers are also oh. used. Sage leaves. Yep. Yes, those oh, are that's tea, spirit. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the rooibos are good, too. This helps us make rooibos tea, which will be the next tea, next drink for us above Camiel. So there's lots of things you can find. Uh, but yeah, those leaves are good for you for spirit. Um, bell yeah. peppers are useful for another dish. Because once we get the uh, once we get the almanac, then we're able to start making other food. To increase the food items we can make. Okay. Unfortunately, we have to wait a little bit for me to get the next strength food upgrade. Well, we don't technically have to wait a little bit. It just involves a lot of running to get it. Uh, but yeah. Get some right bow, some stuff. Uh, ooh, let me grab some okay. aloe from here. And then I'm happy to teleport back. We can get the uh, masonry tools down. And I think that will unlock the new, new stuff from people. New quests. Okay. So I'm going to teleport here and delete this flame altar. Yeah, I'm just going to go back home and get a head start on dumping bag. And we can make some medium boxes. But, er, not medium. We already have medium. Large, right? No, it's, it's medium magic chests. We have only oh. really small. And we have, like, we have one medium magic chest so far. Oh, is that just because we looted the stuff that we needed? Uh, well, we we had enough at the time. It's just we didn't have. Oh. We needed to make more to get ready. Like here. Oh yeah, we have so much new stuff. 
All right. Um, yeah, masonry yeah, tools. You have, to you have to place the masonry tools down. Okay. And then we start getting all the new quests and everything. And now... Okay, you can make eternal chain heal. Oh, we need the alchemy station. Okay. So... Yeah, okay, we need to get the alchemy station. Then you can make eternal fireball and eternal chain heal. Which, uh, eternal fireball is a level... Is a level 17 spell. Okay. Oh, yeah, tanning yeah, station so... now. We'll meet again. Yeah, we got the new quest. Oh, sure um, yep. Okay. My pleasure. Nice. And then the farmer's got something new. Need a oh, two of them. Oh. Almanac. Huh? Let me grab this out. Bro, new crops. <laughs> um. Make that. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Energy, me... dexterity, intelligence. Eggs. I haven't come across eggs yet. Oh, and eggs and red mushroom. I... Yeah, I I got I picked up an egg. That's how we unlocked the recipe. Okay. Um. Well, then what? Um. That's what I was coming. I was like, what was I come here for? Oh, boiled eggs. Plus two stamina recharge. Plus two health regeneration and plus one mana recharge. Yeah. Hmm. That's not bad. I haven't used it because it uses a food slot. Right. Okay, we have a well. Awesome. Because all we needed was the masonry tools to be able to get the well, so... Now we can go in and go in and out grabbing stuff whenever we can. I'm going to drop off everything I can first, so I have some space. I did that already, and now I need, um... More medium boxes for sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll be working on those now. Math plan... Let's see. Storage. We need wood planks, metal, which we have. Okay. We can make ten as long as we can make ten. I just made two more. Oh, you did already? Okay. Yeah, and then I need some more nails. I'm gonna make a couple more, and we'll get it. we'll get a couple more going. Mm. Yeah, definitely need more nails. Uh, we need more metal sheets as well. Okay, that's, that's easy enough to do. Not do this. Oops, that's shot. Alright, so I have, I have five medium chests now. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to place okay. one down here first. <clears throat> Alright. And say, so if you place them, I'll start organizing things if you put down the five new ones, and then I'll rearrange. <clears throat> yeah, okay. We'll start doing that. So we got a couple of these out. I also had some more experience scrolls, so I used uh, I used some and then gave you the remainder. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do all of these up here. I'll get these stacked up on top of each other. So we have six medium chests now. What do I need? Some more metal sheets. Everything is going here. Okay. Hi, Jocelyn. All right. Hope you're doing well today. I collect some of this. Some of the more basic uh, ingredient stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to stay organized. I well, I know it's not. You start, you... Yeah. Because as we start using things, it starts getting all messed up again. It's painful, but it's how it has happened to me all the time. Oh, I'm sure. I don't doubt it. Oh, also, let me give you these, gift you some of that stuff. Ooh, got more, okay. Yeah, I picked them up. That. Yeah, so I got, I'm getting the metal sheets going, and then once we have enough metal sheets, we'll be able to make some more chests. Okay. Nutty, hello. 
Hi, friends. Hi. Uh, Let's see. Oh, actually, I was looking at Angel Eyes today. How are you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. How, how was your aircraft challenge today? So Nutty's been doing the uh, Seven Days to Die aircraft carrier challenge with uh, Angel Eyes and Cheeky Monkey. Oh, okay. Hi, Cheeky. Yeah, it's a new, it's a special challenge world map that's got created. Oh, Cheeky Monkey died. And you guys were doing per a permadeath version, weren't you? Ooh. That's no good. You died, mm. though? That's sad. Shut up, we're nutty. Hey. Let's see. So that, 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 that. Bigger parts. There we go. Uh, right now, we just got back in, Nutty. Uh, I'm on a multiplayer where with Alton, and we are... Alton's working on organizing some stuff in the new chest we just started building. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Also, he is streaming over on the YouTube. That's the link for his stream if you anyone wants to catch him playing. All I think right. I have enough to make another box. I'm going to do that. Okay. Oh, I need more nails again. Never mind. Uh, oh, whoops, I do. You have enough metal sheets. Gotta make nails, 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 nails. That goes down in there. We've been letting we've been letting all of our storage we've been letting pretty much everything just be super, super unorganized for a long time here. Yeah. Um it's and it's, okay. fi like, it's it finally got to me. I mean it's yeah, it was a little bit too much for me too. I just I allowed it to knew we were <sighs> I was doing what I was doing in my main game, which was hey, no worries. Do what you gotta do, nutty. I was doing what I was doing in my main game, which was just, oh, I organize when I get new new box tier. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, you should clear this box out first. Which one? I made another box. Uh, oh, okay. Right here next to all these boxes. Okay, so I'll do that. Clear that one and pick it up. I can put another one down. Thank you for the lurk, cheeky. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for coming and saying hello. I've only came in. I'm Dr. Alejandro. I do a lot of speed crafting survival. Mainly been doing a bunch of uh, enshrouded lately. Really enjoying getting further and further um, in. Let's see. Oh, actually, while you're organizing, uh, I have to respec. Oh, yeah, that's right. And enhance these two new axes. Okay. Because I respec into blunt damage for the mace that I got. Because, like, well. I got a new weapon, but it's blunt. Let me let me respec for it, and now the respec back to cutting. It's fine. Um, yeah, because these are cutting and fire damage axes. Okay. Planks. All right. Clicking through everywhere. All right, so that that one box is empty now. Cool. If we pick it up, I'll put a new box down. Okay. Let me empty the stuff I got real quick. Oh, wait, I, I can pick it up now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, self empty man. There we go. Now we have we have seven medium chests for now. Okay. Can we finish spending skill points? Made sure I got double jump. Made sure I'm getting get updraft, and then I can go back to spending uh, skill points. Yep. Yep. And battle heal. Gotta make sure I get battle heal. All right, so that right, back is to where it be... was. But now I can put new weapons in. Okay. So we're gonna go you, 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 you. There we go. <laughs> now I have three weapons on me. Alright, I'm gonna put this back. Salvage! Here. Salvage! Alright. Nice. 
Okay, so you're doing like some equipment things in here. So I'll throw some yeah. in there for now. Yeah, let's make more boxes. Like I, I had, uh, so what I did in my, um, oh, we have enough to make another one. All right. What I did nice. in my solo world is I made all the medium boxes, mm -hmm. put all the actual stuff in there, and then all the small boxes I still had, uh, I converted those into uh, uh, equipment boxes so we didn't have to get rid of all my old equipment. I was able to just be like, ah, oh, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the small ones too. Just organizing, I'm gonna do probably some of the food stuff in in the small boxes. Okay, yeah, I use the small boxes for because I don't I like keeping old equipment. Oh well, I just, I just deleted I some. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> always get rid of it all, so I, I always kept it. So I had I have multiple small boxes full of just equipment. We have to empty out this chest too when we get a chance. My inventory's still full, so. Which one? Uh, this one I'm on the bottom here. This oh. was the one we had originally. That's right. Okay, I'll work on that one right now uh, then. I'm gonna take some equipment stuff out of it and I'll put that into the box that has equipment in it. There we go. Look at us attempting to start getting organized. Right. Okay. Oh, Organization, yeah, here we come. Okay. And put this Head small chest down here. Yes, yeah, so as we get stuff organized, we can start using these old chests for stuff. But yeah, yeah, with, with eight medium chests, we're probably looking pretty good. I'd imagine, Let's yeah. Start. With eight, me well, with eight medium chests and five small chests. I think we're I think we're pretty good for right now. Okay. That's what, what I have to say. Oh, uh, okay. I can switch this back to mushrooms for you. Oops, I think go. I already okay. messed Grill up. Grilling more of those mushrooms. We are out of raw game. Oh, okay. Ooh, I want to do that. Okay, let me put the rubble and stuff in here. Oh, let me make the uh. Not there. I make it down here. I I wish the chandeliers didn't hang down so far. Um, yeah. Because I I want to use the chandeliers, uh, but they hang down a full like two meters. Oh, so you, so you have to have a tall ceiling. Use everywhere else. Yeah, you have to do extra tall ceilings from it to work. And I I do my underground base and then plan my base around that. <clears throat> so. All right. Oh yeah. We're gonna right. start okay. putting that stuff already. Okay, so that's. <clears throat> okay, yeah, blocks in this chest. That's good. I was doing some. I was. I do something similar. I have a. I have a box specifically for that stuff. Yeah. All right, and then I think I'm going to come back over here. Oh, that one's empty. Oh, yeah, I think you moved it. Okay, there we go. That's the second one. Yeah, uh, and actually, we can, even though we have tin bars and bronze bars and stuff, we can't make them. We can't actually craft them ourselves yet. <clears throat> Right, and then the equipment was somewhere. There we go. Oh, wrong box. We have some blocks in that box. I'll put them in this box. Oops, not that one. So this box up here is potions. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Potions and that stuff. Okay. And honestly, we can probably put bells up here too. Yeah. And then I need a, I need a nice food box. Do you have one that you kind of... Yeah, one of the smaller ones is food. Okay, get the start of food, Yay. and move that over. So I'm stuck and rid of then... it. Equipment is down there. Okay. Awesome.
I'll just take out some of this other stuff that we. I was gonna say, do you want do you want to run back out and about again? Because I would love to just uh, we did some organizing, but I like I want to do yeah. kill stuff. Thank I you know. For the follow Yellow Cat Thirty Never End. Then thank you, thank you. We are currently we're spending some time getting organized here. Just a couple more minutes, and then we'll be done. Yeah. Yeah. With the organization. Spending a little time getting organized. Uh, we can do the second dungeon too today as well. Ooh, there's okay. Like a, there's like a handful, a handful of things up on the top of the map that we can probably complete. Okay. Um, but probably the although probably the best Oops. one is uh, the shroud root up there. What is that? That is glow dust. Yeah. Put that, that in there. Rain material, so that will go down with the dirt. All right, hmm. that's good. Okay, I got enough food on me for now. Rain. Next, we have to go into the uh, to upgrade our stuff past here. We'll have to go into the next biome to actually get the things. But well, we got a, We got a baseline for it. We got some stuff started, which is wonderful. Um, and yeah, we're def we're definitely save our okay uh, our bronze so we can make uh, the bronze pickaxes. All right. <laughs> hey, the spending the five minutes uh, organizing was worth it. It's all organized. We still got room. We still got some stuff that have, has to we be. We have an em we have one empty medium chest up here too. Yeah. So we still have plenty of room. Then we want to. We probably want to clear out these other random chests that are just sitting here with stuff in them. Oh yeah. We'll do that eventually. Yeah, those are just. Not. I think there might be a little bit of food and junk. Right yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's we got a lot of junk and stuff in there. I'm not too worried about it right now. Uh, okay. But what I'm thinking is, if we go to our. Oh, would portal you put the well? By the... Oh, right I see it. Where do you think I put the well? Oh, well, I was hoping it was outside, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Sometimes you never know. I was like, I will put it next to the farm. That sounds like a good place for a well. Yes, it does. Yeah. Also, these axes that we got from the boss are great uh, because they have the life leech. So we do have battle oh. heal, but also heal 5% of the damage I deal with the axe. Nice. The damage of the axe doesn't heal very much. It's typically like six health a hit, uh, but still it helps. Okay. It's extra healing and like in the in the hollow hall dungeons, that five percent damage is useful. You're able to hit so many enemies at one time. Okay, where are we teleporting to now? Alright. Um I'm thinking we go to the one we have at the capital. That's at the capital okay. city. Because there's a shroud root up there to the top, and I say we break that shroud root. Okay. Because we're both missing one skill point to get an, an upgrade, so. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Sounds good. Let's also check this chest. Chances are okay. like it's not going to be anything for us, but gotta check it. Oh, let me refresh on food here. Well, it's not behind me, my food. Okay. All right. Saving eight. And I will drink a shroud protection potion. There we go. We're going to run through the shroud, so I don't know if you have shroud protection potions on you or not. Um, I don't know. Probably. Probably not. If you, if you don't, I'll give you one. I, I keep some on me. Uh, so I do. Yep, I do. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I took one because I know we're going to be running through the shroud. Also, it helps uh, balance this thing out. Okay. I don't know if you. I don't know if you're carrying these around, but I use a lot of these right now. What the? Oh no, I don't have any of those. Yeah, I, I have. Uh, I have it going, and basically, I always use elixir and shroud survival flasks. So it's like, okay, I, I gain one extra in the shroud, but I get thirty percent more damage. I gotcha. Which is huge. Okay. Yeah. 
hurt the Shroud time, but we also bumped up our uh, flame level recently, so we got a little extra. But yeah, I have eight and a half minutes. I think you have nine, if you use the elixir. Uh, ten, actually. Oh, did you, not, did you not use the elixir? Yeah. I don't know why. I have ten. I don't know. Something's different. Yeah, I had eight and a half. Um, the only I have the elixir craze debuff, and I also have I do too. The, uh, <laughs> I have the the armor thing that takes away thirty seconds. So that's why I can't give it uh, eight and a half. Oh, jeez! That guy almost killed me in one hit. Yeah. Level fifteen. Wow. Which is yeah. Man, yeah, that little can, teleport thing you. I have is good. <laughs> it got me out of danger. Yeah, That's crazy. You are, you are not the tanky one. Uh, but at least once we clear this uh, this shroud route, I will have Nemesis again. And once I have Nemesis, anytime you generate aggro, it also generates the same amount of aggro Ooh, to me. Oh, Thank I almost okay. jumped into shroud lava. Oh, I just did. It. Wow. Hurry, get out, get out. You can get us right up here, I think, somewhere. Yeah, run, run up the cliff. Okay. I don't know well, how much time I, I, you lost. it went down to two minutes. Okay. That's, that's survivable. Yeah, that's my problem with the shred level because unless they unless they can reduce it, that's possible they reduced it. Okay. Um. Hold on. If you jump up there, you can at least get some time back. Uh, but actually, no. If you just run around the corner over here. Oh my nose, itchy. I can just run around the corner over here and also get out. There we go, I'm out finally. Jeez. I, he actually jumped up that cliff. Yeah, I, I went around the other side first. Oh, okay. I, I just ran around the side to get around here. Um, but yeah, because that was my problem with the shroud oh. lava. Like, unlike regular lava, it just dealt a lot of damage to you that you could, you know, you had a chance for. The shroud lava just. Yeah, I think Howard, Howard said I put a point into something that gives me more shroud time. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you were talking about that. The, like, inner fires? Yeah, something like that, yeah. All right, where are we going now? Oh, uh, well, there's the question mark, question mark, question mark up here. Uh, plus, there's a boss that we can kill for a okay. very low. But mainly, I want the shroud root, because that's the skill point. Man, I am, like, well behind where you are. I'm waiting in school. I, I don't know how you got up this cliff. I took a different route. Obviously, because I am not getting up it at all. Yeah, no, I didn't go up quite that way. Can I get to that from here? Actually, it doesn't matter. This is a second biome. It's going to be a... There'll be a... Like level 13 stuff or level 15 stuff, so don't have to worry about it. Where are you? Okay. There you are. I see you finally. Hard to hit from this distance. <laughs> Almost dead. <laughs> and take the kill. Got him. Yeah, alright. Yeah, Shroudroot's down here somewhere. So let's safely drop down. The others are Shroudroot, I see it. I saw it as I was dropping down. Anything over here gonna try and kill me immediately? No? Okay. Not until we get closer. Um, Oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, there's a route over there. Oh, I almost just walked into it. Yep. This. Yeah, the, uh. The shroud lava just gives me so much stress and anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, skill so point. So unfair. 
Oh, yeah, we got a skill point for finding the place and get another skill point for... That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Well, at perfect point in, I now have Nemesis. I'm okay. not getting Arch Nemesis as much as that would be useful for you. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Alright. It, it cost me three skill points, but I don't think it's that worth. So, uh, Nemesis says whenever you draw attention of enemy, I draw in equal measures. Arch Nemesis makes me draw twice as much. Whenever you hit an enemy, you get aggro and I get double the aggro. Mm. Um, but that's not... Ooh! I'm about to die. About to die. About to die. About to die. Oh, oh I didn't die. I didn't die. Oh. So, why don't we, uh, warp out of here instead? Because oh. there's still the whole thing over here. The, the oh, place okay. The, uh, clear. There's like we have, there's like a bunch of quests in this area. Oh, that's right. I see. I see. Okay. I, I, that's right. The, the quest hasn't technically showed up in this area yet, but it is here. That's because we didn't do the second part of the quest yet. But there it is. Let me get your attention. Come here, buddy. Oh, wow, he died awfully fast. Yeah, it was just, it was just level 15 felt on the group. Nothing cool. too big. Got another skill yeah, point. Yeah, so basically hmm. the, the reward for that is a, uh, a legendary bow. Hmm. It'll be a bow upgrade for me temporarily. Who just hit me? Somebody just shot me. Oh, up there. I uh, know I killed the enemy up here. That's the enemy I was shooting when we were up on the other thing. I don't know. I don't, there's oh, there's nice. a lot of enemies in this area. So. There he is. They're down below. I guess they were just yeah, following us. Somewhere. Where? I don't know yet. But I knew they were somewhere close by. Hey, I hit level 19 now. Oh, dang it. I'm Over level 19. I don't know why he's running away from me. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, there you go. He's dead. I'm, I'm not going into the wand stuff because I don't need that. I'm, I went into the battle mage tree a little bit on my solo world, so I was trying to balance everything out. I think I'm just going to go straight down barbarian tree and start going uh, more damage. Okay, I'm going to. I need to check my other points now. Did you go all the way to the top of this tower? Yeah. Yeah, there was a silver chest. I'm gliding down. Oh, okay. Uh, right. It had a common masterful mace in the okay. chest. Uh, okay. Nothing good. Granted, again, we're not going to get anything great over here anymore anyway, because my character just bugged weirdly there. When you're seeing that, there's... Had a weird, had a nice, fun, weird movement bug. Um, hmm. I don't know where else to go now. Uh, well, there's a lot of stuff over to our west. I'm well, I'm sorry, I meant on my skill tree. I'm talking about my skill oh. tree. Hmm. Uh, you took updraft ready, right? Oh no, I think I was working towards that. Yeah, that's what I it was, yep. I take Counter Strike into Updraft because, well, Counter Strike just is nice. And then Updraft is useful. Okay, I'll yeah, work I'm towards gonna, that next. You... I, I know what I needed to do. Okay. Yeah. I, I love Updraft. Yeah, the combination of double jump and Updraft basically just says, I'm sorry, you can't make a puzzle mm -hmm. to stop me. It's impossible. I'll do whatever I want anyway. I actually cheese oh, an geez. entire puzzle. I cheese an entire puzzle in the uh, oh loader. Actually, that's good. I want to try. Ah! I'm gonna take a little laugh at that one. That was fun. <laughs> I dodged the uh, attack from the floater and instead of hit you. 
Oh. Yeah. It did hit me. Yeah, you got you got a nice smack from it. I, it was coming to me, I dodged, and you just happened to be behind me. So I hit you instead. I sacrificed your HP for my own gain. Yeah, that's not what a good tank does, by the way. But I'm going into the barbarian skill tree now. I'm done with the tank tree. Oh, okay, all right. Well, it's that makes sense news. then. Okay. Yeah, it's old news. All right, give me this. <clears throat> Send you a couple things. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I guess we head west, get out of the shroud. Okay. Um, I think. I don't know the best way to get up and out, but it should be some a nice way somewhere. Oh, more houses. Maybe there's a. Just want to check for a doctor to read. I did find some water. Always like Is this that. level 2 area or level 3 area? Level 2 area. Okay. It only goes up to, it only goes to level 15 tops. So we're... That's I'm not too worried about a lot of this. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be that deadly. I can keep up this and then I can get out. Oh, I can sort of get out. On the cliff now. Okay, we got a few quests over this direction. This will be good. I tell you, I got hit by an arrow. Well, I don't know where you are. You were going yeah, this way. There you are. What you get? You ended up somewhere that I don't know how you got there. Let's see. Uh, uh it's because I went up around the other way. There was a uh, there was a, there was a cliffside that was easier to get up. I got gotcha. you. I'll grab some hazelnuts. Uh, yeah, we have, okay. we have another quest right over here. Okay. Yeah, I might as well just clear all this stuff out because then then we'll be good. Got the cameo. See if I can get some more resin real quick. <laughs> well, you're, luckily you're not going to need that for much longer. Because once we go into the, uh, once we go into the third biome, honestly, I think we focus, I think we'll focus on getting the alchemy station for you first. Okay. I think, it's gonna, I think we do alchemy station and then, and blacksmith tools as the first two. Okay. Uh, and the reason for that is, uh, then after we get those, we'll start being able to make bronze. After we make bronze, uh, you can get the warrior um, trousers. Yeah, so we don't need those. And an arsonist bow. Yeah, we're good. But th that it's second by himself is not really helping us out much. It's a level fifteen epic. Yeah. Well, we just got a level fifteen legendary from killing oh. the boss. Okay. Yeah, we got the fell commander bow. Well, then I'll scrap it. Yeah. And then we got emptiness sets in, and then crucial investigation. Okay. And then ectoplasm press for the collector. Although we'll definitely have to head home before we do ectoplasm press. Guaranteed, because we don't have the key. Mm. No worries. Have a good one, Dad. Enjoy the time outside. I mean, it's nice outside, so it works. It's very nice out there. There's also flame shrines down this way. I wanna climb this thing. Because it's here. Right. And it's climbable. Gotta be something good in here, some good loot, something. There's a note. Okay. Get our 10 XP from that. And go. And we jump in and we fly in and go up to the top. Probably gonna be like a silver chest here. Oh, that almost cost me. Yeah. I was out of stamina. Oh. I'm trying to do things that involve stamina. It doesn't work out well. It almost. Ooh. It almost cost me, but it didn't. 
We're gonna have a nice place to jump from if we want to jump and glide somewhere. This is how I'm worth it, man. Ah, wizard hat, which you already have. Yeah. Okay, delete that. And then we have the quest over here somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna start flying to the area. We. Hello, questicle. We're here for you. The hidden hollow. Room. There we go. Successfully made it. Ooh, I'm actually curious about this one. Um... Okay. That's a no. Not again. Ooh, enemies. Yeah, come on, Do these guys have the ectoplasm? No, they don't. No, nah, only in the dungeons they have them. But I do want to try some. I accidentally stored all my bombs. Oh no. I don't have any either. I'm mean, actually going to pickaxe for a second. I just want to see. Yeah, there actually is an entrance to the thing over here. Ah. Luckily, our pickaxe does a good job of clearing through it. Because there was a quest that led us to this location. It feels like there could be something more than just clear the spot. Like, if you have a actual tomb, you can go into the other tomb. Stairs right here, yeah. open up or just stay the other way down. No, it opens up. Perfect. I need to get rid of all this rubble. Delete. <clears throat> that was fun. The nearest oh, me. watch out. He was sneaky. <laughs> wonder if there's something behind this wall that's glowing because right. the treasure chest is glowing level four, oh boy that's cool i actually didn't come down here by uh my solo oh. world i cleared the quest and then just never actually went anywhere in here oh really hm. yeah bunch of mud down there let me get it put the rat Also, another direction we didn't go. We ended up, I think we accidentally chose the right direction first. Why do we gotta do that? Uh, gold sarcophagus. And a rare executioner's axe. I was hoping we were gonna get lucky and there was gonna be another eternal spell in there. That would've been Oh, that'd be nice. Ankle biters. Yeah, well, it also turns out if there are enough rats, um, yes, yeah, so we haven't gone this way yet. No, we, oh no, I thought we did. Just wrapped around. We came back up. Yeah, yeah. we did just wrap around properly. That's why there were more rats. All right, well, we figured this place out. I didn't have the bombs, but our thing got us through anyway, so we're good. It looks like we just gotta explore a little bit sometimes. Nice. Okay. Oh, 
build or yes, it's not built. Chancey goes after cave passage. Okay. And then next we have a crucial investigation up there. Okay, I'm exploring something up here. There was a bad guy up here, gotcha, so I killed gotcha. him. Oh, it was just a wolf. Uh, I want to do closer. I have, I have spells on me that I got from there. Uh, oh, there's nothing up here. You're over there. Got it. Does verticality matter for this? Gift? It does. You're a vertical distance too far away. I'm, I was like, I wonder if it says XY if it counts vertical. It, it turns out it does count vertical. For giving gifts. Gotcha. For how far away we are from each other. Okay. So here are all of your free gifts. Hope you like them. Okay. Uh, also, one more. There we go. Congratulations. You have gifts. Yay. Yay, yay. Is that thing chasing me? Flying very far. All the way to opposite end. Okay. I just glided. I made it good. Yeah, Alright. I glide. I use updraft. Updraft doesn't get you much extra distance, but it gives you a little extra. Mainly because the height you gain from updraft goes away really quickly. Hmm. So I've learned with updraft, you you use it like right before you get somewhere, so you you actually get you actually can use that height. All right. Where are we heading? What quest? Uh, a crucial investigation up here. Okay. There's also time for harvest. There's two quests here. Hi, cave. I'm also going to get distracted by every single cave on the way. Because there can be anything in a cave. Even the quest. Why would I go for the quest when I can go for the thing that might be a quest? <laughs> but it's not a quest. There's also not anything besides just a cave with some copper in it. But, you know, I had to. Yeah, you never know. You see a nice, you see a nice cave, and you're just like, yeah. Maybe that's, that's a good place game. to build a base. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, I have, I have done my best now to uh, to try and avoid putting my flame altars too close to resources, uh, just because flame altar stops the world from repairing itself. Right. <clears throat> Gotta check. <laughs> I there's been enough graves that have had stuff in them that I, you know I have. Oh to really? Oh. Yeah, there's some random graves that have just uh, treasure chests in them. Okay, interesting. I mean, I never really get anything good from them, but Here we definitely go. about to be Gold nighttime. Chest. A gold chest? Wow. Nice. Doesn't have anything good in it, but it's fine. I was supposed to salvage, not delete that. Uh, okay. I will construct a flame altar here. We can okay. go home, drop stuff off, repair. Uh, we can do that quest. And we can do those two quests, and then we can do the ectoplasm. Maybe do the ectoplasm. But actually, I don't know if we should try to do ectoplasm Probably not. today or not. Yeah. I just remembered it, that dungeon took me over 50 minutes to do last time. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I did it solo, so it'd definitely be faster doing it together, but... Yeah, it would definitely be faster if we did two people, but it's still going to be at least like a half hour or more. So I'm going to go with no. Maybe like the first thing that we do next, next weekend. Yeah. Cause we'll have we'll be set up for it at that point. Keep working.
can drop some stuff off. Okay. Excellent. <clears throat> oh. Blacksmith's got uh, something way, new to say to me. Yeah, you have uh, 20 uh, rows of azure rosula mushrooms over here. Better to be the hammer. Uh... We're here. There we go. Yeah. I just got some more raw game cooking now because need some more. And now I'm find the where the bombs are. There we go. Keep my stack of bombs on me, because that's important. Alright. Sleepy I'm gonna time. Put all the raw stuff in here. Oh, wait. Before sleepy time. Keep water from the well time, because that like the well respawns like every minute or two. Oh wow. So What's it, the it doesn't What's take long the stack? for it to respawn. What is the um, water stack in? Twenty or more? I have it's definitely more. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna lay down and get nighttime passing. Okay. Uh, we'll also be able to start increasing our rest bonus soon too. Once we start okay. getting some new start resources from the next biome. And there goes morning. Okay. Awesome. Oh, pick up your bombs. Yeah. I did. I grabbed them. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, after this, we'll be done with almost every... I mean, there's like this huge cloud of stuff in the middle of the map that I'll want to open up at some point. There's probably a POI. I mean, there is a flame trap in there. Yeah. Uh, just to, like, there's a couple of those, just to clear them out. Clear out the, uh, the fog of war at some point, but that's not a huge rush. But yeah, after we do this stuff up here in the northwest, we are basically set to just start getting into the uh into the third biome are we going to where the cruise yeah that's what i thought okay <clears throat> yeah where we have the uh the flame altar up here yeah i just wanted to make sure that was the right one yeah okay Doop -doo. yeah i'm actually going to destroy this one Okay. Get more stone and make one and make a new one <laughs> that we can then. Uh, ooh, honey. Uh, we can place a little closer to the. Not quite all the way over at the place we gotta go to, but a little closer to it for the okay. for the second dungeon. This way, you know, when we get ready to go to it next time, we're just like we have a flame altar nearby. Right. Glenwood's dead. Uh, supposedly this place was slightly readjusted. I mean, this place was one of the places that was readjusted because of the dungeons like I added in. There's rats downstairs. <laughs> right. They're all you. I can't fight them on the stairs. My axe can't swing low. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, if enemies are slightly above or slightly below me, I can't hit them. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, weird. I took my right mouse button, and my shield did not want to come up. Ooh, bees. Those are yours. Got him. <laughs> bees are your duty. And there's some more house down here. I think you're going to sweep this little down portion before I go up top. Feels like rats. Oh, yeah. Rats upstairs got them. Yeah, I got the ones down here. I picked up a couple little mini treasure chests. There's some water. Nothing upstairs. Water. Yeah. yeah, this is on the outskirts of the place. I'm not expecting there to be much. But. May as well clear everything. 
Definitely a rat hiding in the corner there. I'll take the campfire. Nah. All right. Oops. Oh. Oh, I can I can beat these poison things up again properly. Oh, what the heck so is happening? Uh poison. No. Um something just popped up a uh, pop up on my screen. And it locked me out of the game. There we go. Okay. That was weird. <clears throat> Alright, all good. Up from there, there he is. Yeah. Oh, totally missed him. And and Howard, yeah, exactly. I never said it was a good tank, although I'm I am uh, I'm assisting as a tank either way because I will be generating all the aggro. So most of the enemies are gonna come from me. Some will Mostly. still try and mm -hmm. kill you. Well, I mean, I'm I'm now generating some of the aggro you are. Whenever you hit them, I get the same aggro. Supposedly. Yeah, supposedly, except we're right there. I'm hitting it, you're hitting it, so realistically I did not lose aggro, but then it was just like, nah, we're gonna make you lose aggro. Okay, I think I might have to go Arch Nemesis. I don't want to. I want to go Barbarian, but I'll probably go Arch Nemesis for you. Okay, I can't, I can't trust that. Oh! It still hit us? Oh, there's another one nearby. It exploded into an explosion. Yeah, it did. Well, luckily, Chain Heal can heal both of us. Oh, yeah, I guess so, huh? Except for I, uh, I don't have it. Are I must have put it away. Yep. Bummer. Uh, what you can do, if there's like a spell you don't want to make sure it goes through a chest accidentally, if you put it on your hotbar, it won't. Right. I've had to do that with my, most of my potions. I don't really care about being in my hot bar, but uh, I've started doing it just so I don't accidentally put them away. Okay, it's looking over there, really. Okay, we got a scavenger gorger matron in here somewhere. Over there. Just wanna go kill the boss and then uh, kill the rest of the place. All right. No, approximately. I know where she is, the question we gotta get over to her. So she is here. Because that's where it's located. We have to get in there. Bitch. I'm just considering if we cheese her. Nah. <laughs> we could super cheese her if we wanted to, but. Somewhere in here? Uh, up above us. She's up above us right now. Okay. I don't know if there's a way for us to get up here. I walked in here and I thought this was the way in, but then I'm like, nope, that's near up above, up there. She's up there. Maybe we gotta go around a little more. We can go down from here, but we don't wanna do that yet. Stairs properly if they go in. Hi. Oh, it's gonna explode over there. Like that. Oh, I'm running. I hate that. Yeah, that move. That move kills you. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, oh you're gonna from behind. One second. I got I know. I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to I don't either. Up. My Something keeps popping up on my screen. Oh, she vomited and killed me, because that's what she does. I'll, I'll let you finish her off and then revive me. Yeah, the, the Gorger Matron, if you get hit by her vomit, you surviving that is really hard. It does just so much damage if you get hit by it. I'll hang out for now. Okay. Check my phone. Oh, she almost hit me with the vomit. Oh, 
Oh, she killed me. Oh, okay. I'll respawn then. <clears throat> Bummer. Uh, it's fine. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come inside this house. Okay. Comfort level 10, perfect. There we go, I got a campfire. Come here and get your rest of the bonus. I am. Okay. There we go. I came in the house, it was comfort level 10. I'm like, alright, perfect. But yeah, there was a campfire upstairs here I picked up. I was like, you know. That's a good thing you did. It. Yeah. You can make them really easily. Like, I. Uh, that's why I typically, like, when we go into the next Hello Halls, I'll probably carry a campfire in with us. Okay. okay. I got my rest of the bonus. I got 15 minutes. That's plenty. Okay. Go back up and kill this time, yeah. He was almost up. dead. I, I, ran over to try and, I ran over to try and save you because you had an enemy coming from behind you killing you. And then oh. that made me get caught by the vomit. Yeah, something keeps now, um, popping up, and I'm not even sure what it is. And it. Me neither. Yeah. But I know, it's like a computer performance thing. It's stupid. Whatever it is. Oh, wait for you to get back over here. At the very least, the uh, the helpers are not there. You just gotta kill the helper. Because I, I just can't have... Ooh, I can't have enemies on you if that happens again. Because then I, I, I died to try and save you. And I can avoid that. That's good. We're gonna go two separate ways. So you can attack from one side. I'm gonna move over this way, try and get you some back attacks. Ow. She's vomiting, I gotta stay away from that. Don't look at him. Not me. to keep her attention on me. Ow! Don't get rid of the vomit. vomit. Oh, I, I clicked. I clicked the wrong thing. Can you get me? Yeah. I clicked bandage instead of health potion. That was my mistake. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you get if you get hit by the vomit, it's so rough. Yeah, it is. Well, it for me, it's pretty much instant death. Uh, for me, it's if I'm not at full health, it's basically instant death. That's basically that for that time I was, but I had a second click the button. Um, and I just clicked the wrong button. Ring of the flame plus forty shroud time. That's all it is. Hmm. Nothing special. No. That's fine. Now we can finish cleaning this place out. Now we don't have to deal with the boss in here anymore. Now we can run around through all the buildings and fight them. Oops. <laughs> Don't die. No, I I um did my little teleport, but I went out like outside and <laughs> off the cliff. <laughs> it was effective. Let me, let me, let me my stamina come back. Oh, I don't have my real rest bonus. No wonder my stamina sucks. Oh, my stamina regen is terrible. Uh, I'm gonna pop back down to that campfire in a second. Okay. Unle oh, actually, do I have any wood? On I don't currently. Uh, on these two pieces of wood, I'm gonna go back to this building over here. See if there's a comfort bonus over here. Okay. Comfort level. If there is, I'll just break something apart, get some wood, and put a campfire down. Yeah, comfort. Comfort level five. That's enough. I'm just gonna get two pieces of wood. Something that. I'm breaking wooden things. Oh. Give me nothing. Whoops. I just found a uh, green dude. Did the green dude kill you? Okay, I was going to. Nope, the wolves killed me instead. <laughs> As I was trying to All run right, away. Well, we'll go meet up at the campfire. Because I, I need that world rest bonus. Okay. Flying down the last bit of stamina I have. Oh. Sna 
I forgot exactly how bad stamina regen is without rest of bonus. It's both max stamina and stamina regen. Oh, it's saying there's threats nearby. Oh, it's, mine's just not going up at all. I don't know why. It says there's threats nearby. So, there's an enemy, oh, there's an enemy up there. It's a wolf who sort of sees us. Yeah, the enemies that were fighting you are now here. So we can't get the rest of the buff yet. There's also... Now we're good. Now we get a rest of the buff. Much better. Beauty of the campfire. I was from the random garbage. <clears throat> ah, I have stamina again. It's wonderful. All right. Feels good. Okay. I can run and double jump all over the place. Oops. I just got muddy I'll get shoes. The green guy. Oh, this is where I found him. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see you came in this way. So now I can explore this place. And mm. it's a Marauder location, so there should be a... Oh, this place is comfort level 18. Yeah, if there weren't threats nearby, we'd get our comfort bonus up higher, but it doesn't actually matter. 15 minutes of comfort is plenty. Awesome. Yeah. Found something. I don't want to threaten nearby. Well, that's good. I open the door and there's just an enemy standing there just saying, Hi, <laughs> how's it going? That's funny. Okay, we're just hanging out. Okay, you got everything up here ready. So you have... Ah, there's a spot. One more chest. Oh, a lockpick chest up here. Cool. Bombs. Love you, my bombs. I wonder how that rat died. We just went into a place we've never been into, and there's a dead rat. Oh, that's you. <laughs> uh, might have been a wolf or something that killed it. They're not exactly friends with each other. Right. So we were here. Is there a yep. way to go down? This. Got a here. Nice. Yeah, okay, this is their way down. That's where the threats are that are stopping us from getting our rats. rats. Oh, this requires a lockpick. I got that. I'll make more lockpicks later, because I think I'm yeah, I'm gonna make a couple. Ah, for a page. Nice. Okay, not much there. Does that mean our rested bonus could be bigger? No, there's still supposedly threats nearby. Mm. It's saying threats nearby, so... Okay. There's enemies too close to us. I don't know where they would be. Not in here. Well, there's still lots of areas. Oh, I in found one. There's still plenty of spots for enemies to be. And then we got the full underground, too. Right, okay. I don't know, I don't know exactly where you are yet, but I'm going to run through here. Nope, found a regular chest. 
with one potion bomb. We still appreciate those. Ah, good repair bench. That's what I was looking for. I was like, this is a Marauder location. Ooh. It has to be a repair bench. Where'd you find it? I Are you underground? Under, under, yeah, I'm underground over here. Probably gonna get into a fight. There you are. You're dead. Oh, that's not a workbench. Still threats nearby. Oh, okay, this is where we came up originally before. Gotcha, gotcha. So there it this. is. Perfect. Yeah. And we can go up this side. That's where I just came down from. <laughs> then what threats are still nearby? Out. Yeah, up up here there is. This is where I found one guy. And I yeah, I didn't go this way. It's kind of far away. That's what I thought too. If we're being threatened nearby, I thought there'd be like something actually trying to attack us. I need to, get, I need to wait for stamina to come back. All right. Well, I guess we'll. We don't need the rest of the boats anyway. It's not like we're in trouble. We'll head up here and we'll get the other quests that's up here. Okay. Oh, was a flame shrine up here, actually. Flame sanctum. Nice. There we go. 25 XP for getting up here. And then the last quest we have is right down here. Finding something right there. Ah, chest. Yep. Nice, golden one, There's too. nothing useful for us right now, so... Mm. Okay, out there, and then... Okay. Uh, there you go. Do some spells. Awesome, awesome. Then from here, we go down this way. I can place the flame, shrine, the flame altar down that I have made. And then, then we'll be pretty well set. Oh, what is over this way, though? Uh, it's just another way to get up here. Oh, okay. Like a mine area that lets you get up. Oh, I see. It's the, it's the, it's the stealthy approach. We did the non-stealthy approach. Gotcha. Yeah, because there's always, almost always one way to do things. More than one way to do things, huh? Yeah, they, they do a good job of giving you lots of different directions to go. Yeah, play style, character style, all that good stuff. A lot of, I noticed a lot of those bushes that you could sneak in. Yes, yeah, so if you want to do that stuff, you can. I'm too loud and proud for that most of the time. <laughs> so I'll put a flame altar over here. I'm not patient enough. Yeah, me neither. All right, so now we have a flame altar here we can use. It's our final one for the moment, but that's fine. We'll clear out some. We'll get rid of some others okay. eventually. Okay. Uh, this one will just stay here for now so we can get into the second dungeon easy. Okay. Go home, drop the stuff off. Excellent. of raw materials is now filled. Oh, this one. I never emptied this box. No. It hasn't actually mattered, so I didn't worry about it too much after, even when I saw it. Um, Alright, well, I'll, I'll go ahead since I have everything. And they're, those are my chain heels, too. Where did the rest of our honey go? Um, I mean, I have some. I think that's where it went. Hang on. Okay. So I used to not have that many. Okay. Uh, so I put it in the food box over there. I was I was confused. He's like, this this should be more. There you of go. This. Oh, you have to get to me. I was just I just. Oh. Uh, okay. Well. It's because I, I tried. I went to every single box and did uh drop. I dropped stuff in, and my honey was still in my inventory. I was like, that's weird. That should go somewhere. Oh, let me go get some more water from the well. 
I'll get water from another well too. That. And. No, it's not gonna need that actually. Okay, we're good. There we go. Yeah, this goes. We're getting through a lot of these places, just goes so much quicker with two people. Yeah, for sure. Back in our house of sorts. Okay, we can get. Oh, we need. Um, we need what is string. that? Oh, roasted corn um, cob. Assuming... I haven't seen that yet. Okay, we need to get plant fibers and strings. I, I'm assuming uh, we made a lot of bandages recently. Yeah, probably. Because uh, we're basically out of string. And uh, we need that stuff. Mean Bear Cave, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Give him a shout out there. Mean Bear Cave Raid. How are you doing? How are your seven days? <laughs> I was your seven days to die magical apocalypse. Do you have a good time today? Hi, robot. How you doing? Hello, robot. We are here with the Alton. That's his that's his YouTube link if you don't know, but folks just came in. I'm Dr. Alejandro. I do a lot of crafting survival stuff. I've rated Mean Bear Cave a couple times recently. I know Mean Bear Cave was doing some of the seven days to die. Some magical apocalypse time today. Um, but yeah, Alton and I have been doing some shrouded, also doing some magic-y stuff. Little little different type of magic-y stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. The biggest magic that we accomplished today was organization. We made we finally were able to make the 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 medium magical chests. Yep. So it's now been very helpful. we are currently mostly organized. We still have the little chest to do. We haven't taken stuff out of these. We gotta, we gotta take this stuff and organize it with everything else too. All those little chests on the side, but things are organized. Shoot, most Hopefully. of the stuff just needs to be deleted. See you later. Yeah, I mean, some of that stuff definitely does. I will not, I will not say otherwise. Um, it's just junk. In in our multiplayer world here, we have built the uh, my pleasure. The box, the box made of stone. As our base, I have a little bit of a different base on my solo world, <laughs> uh, but we have made the uh, we have uh, made the box of stone. The nice stone box, love it. Right. Hey, it works. Everything's here. It does. We don't have to go. We don't have to like go searching for rooms. No, that's the reason why I've kept my other one so compact. <clears throat> it's for that exact reason. No worries, your kids, your kids are bullying you. No. <laughs> that's not nice. <laughs> no bully no bully children uh but yeah alton and i next time next time we play we'll be clearing the second dungeon we haven't done that yet and then mm -hmm. we have just started to make a little bit of an entrance into the third bio and now next time we play we'll be doing the second dungeon and then pushing into the third bio which will be a lovely time lovely 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 time yeah we kind of started it we touched it a little bit yeah, we, we touched it a little bit. We we got the one edge. I got my weapons. Um, right at the edge, uh, right at the edge of the the biome, there is a a VUCA battle where the boss guarantees drops this weapon. So we've done it twice. So I now have uh, two weapons to use that are a nice upgrade for me, which is lovely. Mm-hmm. Uh, because as Alton and I know, when it comes when it, when it comes to this game, if we rely on the RNG chest, um, <laughs> I'm not I'm not really gonna get upgrades. Only I benefit from that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Alton gets stuff. I mean, you've already gotten third tier armor. That's true. I did find a piece. Only, only yep. one piece. You got one piece. The the helmet is what we need for you though. The Mystic Hood is like. Plus eleven percent uh, magic critical strike chance, plus thirteen percent uh, uh, magic critical damage. Mm -hmm. The Mystic Hood is crazy for you. 
Okay. Oh. I, I know that because, I, again, I found it in my solo game. I was like, yep, this is... When we get this, Alton's going to be a very, very happy person. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I had to start a second food box. Yeah, that's going to happen. Um, yeah. Even in my even in my solo world where my food box is a uh, four line box, I still have two of them. It's going to get even going to get even more as we get into the next biome and start getting more foods. Right. Yeah, a little more varieties. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so the I think the order we'll probably go in for getting quests completed is. Uh, actually, we should probably do blacksmith first. I was saying alchemist first, but blacksmith first makes more sense because uh, the thing we want from the uh, the thing I want for you from the al and alchemist thing uh, requires us to have more bronze anyway. Oh, okay. So if we do blacksmith first and get bronze cooking. Then we do alchemist, then farmer. Because we we need we need all of them for all different things, but the like the. The hunter stuff is new armor, and that's fine. We'll get that. But farmer gives us some new food, which is so Oops, strong. That's not what I wanted. Um... Oh, oh, yeah. So, okay. So, you, we actually have a need for eggs for you. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Because of the yep. mushroom omelet. I did not realize that. Um, yes, yeah, so that needs red mushrooms and eggs. And then yep. we're also going to get, we're going to be getting another food that's going to really excite you. <laughs> it's in the fourth biome. We can sneak and get it early. It's like plus five constitution, plus one intelligence. Oh, okay. It's my current, it's my current, it's my current con food on my main character. And it is wonderful. Uh, we are missing, oh, I guess we don't have enough copper to smelt down. Okay. I'm going to take these bars and put the bars back down in the box. Yeah, for now. I also have two tin bars okay. up here. So we have 50, 58 copper. Copper bars? Yep. That'll that'll help us a little bit. That'll help us a little bit. Tiny, tiny little bit. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, making bronze is expensive. Oh. I'll tell you that. It is very, very expensive to make bronze. We even ha have even more over here. Yeah, no, just... all the chests have had stuff in them. And we just haven't organized them at all. Jeez, yeah, I guess not. Salvage, salvage. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I didn't what I can't do in my main game. What's that? Get rid of the old weaponry and stuff. Oh. In my in my solo world I'm I'm like I said, all my old equipment I've been holding on to. Okay. Okay, so wa water stacks up to at least uh, over thirty. <laughs> at least thirty. Yeah, because that's what I have thirty something. Oh, I, I have exactly. Uh, there's there's a box that has exactly thirty in it. Oh, I have no, thirty three in my my hand. So, um, let's see, salvage. Oh, that's why there's no room for that there. Salvage. Okay. But yeah, our, our group organization has, has come together. I don't know if we'll end up having to expense. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep us ahead of time. Let's go one, uh, stronger together. two. Yeah, Definitely I don't need to do that. Those. Okay. This is cheap, super cheap to do, so I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> okay. I think I just emptied one of these boxes over here. Almost. Alright, so pick this one up. Yeah, the one benefit of us still using this, um... Using these crappy blocks... Yeah. ...is... Uh, they're really cheap to make. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you can expand the base? <laughs> is that what you're doing? I am going to expand down here a tiny bit. Okay. I'm not going far. I'm just doing this. I'm just doing this on the first floor for now. Okay. Uh, potions. Oh, need, more, need some more blocks. 
But yeah, see, in my world, when I'm doing the building, it's mm -hmm. expensive as heck, and I hate it because I'm just like, oh, I need all these materials for this specific thing. Because uh, my so if people don't know my solo world, it's a full Hobbit hole. <laughs> um, I love it. It's wonderful. It's a great place. Uh, I really love how the houses come together. Uh, the downside is every area is themed. So nice. we're using all different like fancy blocks in all different spaces. See, I like that. I I also like it. It is nice. It just took a lot of time. Yeah, and in, in fact, you um I meant to ask you, but I, I was exiting out because I was playing my game. You want went into one of your rooms and you had two pillars that were bright blue. What was that material? Uh, that is the, uh, um, we have access to it on our workbench. It was the blue luminescent blocks. We can make them. We have a little bit of luminescent okay. growth. I just didn't like them yet. I have them in my, I had them in my storage room because my storage room was made of bone and I was like, giving it a little glow. Mm. Uh, we can also make the warm luminescent blocks. Um, nice. probably make one thing for those. Okay. Come over here. Yeah, there's so so much. Uh, I haven't looked in a while, but we have so much different types of things to build with. Wow. Yeah, we've we've uh, we've unlocked a lot. Um, refined stone block. Oh, with the limestone. Okay. A copper block. Wow, that sounds expensive. <laughs> yeah, I well my uh my blacksmith is currently living in a copper block. Area. Oh, nice. I want a bronze block too. Ah, hmm. uh, we will. <laughs> nice. There we go. Just put up some uh, the warm, the warm white luminescent oh, block. I like this better because the the blue one is a little. So, you saw it in my world, but I'll do it here as well. It's. The lighting it gives just wasn't great, but we'll put a couple of these up. It's a, I, it was a I, weird I liked it. light. It didn't. I liked it because in the pillar form that you had, it looked nice, like in the corners. Yeah, the yeah the pillar form was just there to add a little extra light. It worked mm -hmm. for my storage room, but like this blue light over here, isn't, it feels weird in the mm -hmm. house. But for my storage room, it was nice. Yeah. It was like lighting up the bones and a blue hue, which worked. So there we go. I threw some luminescent blocks down for us. Cool. All right. Hey, we, now we have a much fancier place to live. We totally threw some extra, extra things in there. Look at that. And, and now it's more of a rectangle instead of a box. <laughs> yep. We're no longer just a box. Yeah, I did it because I made the I made extra grinding stones. So we're gonna want those. Okay. Hmm. Fade away. Like dust in the wind. What is oh, that's another making ten, okay. Yeah, we have two smelters. Um a third smelter wouldn't necessarily be terrible either. <clears throat> okay. Cause then we can have one smelter on copper, one on tin, one on bronze. As necessary. Well, I mean, considering we're not really getting that much of each of those material, I mean, unless we just go all out and go mining and stuff. Well, we will have to. Right. Uh, as we start getting into the next, into this next bomb, we're going to have to because we, we'll need a lot of bronze. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll probably get a third smelter because all it, it does, it's not that expensive to make. Uh, the big thing really is I just have to run back to the mine and get another crucible. Okay. Because the crucible's free there. But yeah, just like we have three charcoal kilns, one for each thing, three grinding stones, one for each eventual thing. It helps. Okay. There's a sad Let's see. This is coming together. There we go. We had a minor base expansion. We put up some lights. See, we're doing so much construction work. Oh yeah. So much Much better than we we had before. All right. Yeah, I've been I've been making use of a lot of these blocks from other game. 
The hollow hall blocks I do like. Okay, so there's a lot of really there's a lot of really nice blocks we have access to that we could work with. I do like the half timber blocks, those are pretty nice too. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of good choices that I, I just never paid attention to. <clears throat> no, because at least in this world we haven't really cared that much about our living space. No, we've been Other going for just... function more than form. Yeah. In my world, I've kept it compact. Like, I could have built it a lot bigger, but as I start building bigger, I start messing up efficiency, and my brain just like, why am I <laughs> going to destroy my efficiency in order to make this place larger? That doesn't make sense to me. And it's true. So I kept my place... My place is all themed, has all different rooms and stuff, but it still kept it relatively compact. Right. Just so it doesn't mess with my efficiency. Because I don't want it to. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. All right. All right. I do like well, the yeah. bone blocks. Um. But yeah. So next time you play, we'll do the rubber. Block. I'm actually going to grab a, the key and hold okay. on to it. This is what's in my inventory, and I remember you should grab the key too. Uh, okay. This way we can both unlock doors. Okay. Uh, so having two keys is not actually a bad thing. It means both of us will be allowed to unlock doors. Hmm. Doing a little uh, mess around with building stuff? Yeah, possibly. I want to just check something out. Um... Okay, it's a stone. It's the... Whatever they call this. Bone. The bone stuff. Bone blocks, yeah. Yeah. That's what I had. That's what my storage room is made out of. Is the bone blocks? Uh, yeah, my storage room because it's made out of the bones of enemies. Oh, nice! Um, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's why uh, my entire my mm. entire storage room is bone blocks with the uh, the blue glow, the blue luminescent blocks, and then a brazier for actual light because these blue luminescent blocks were not lighting it up enough. Mm. Um, this is not doing what I want it to do. I will say, I'm going to make some of these. These blocks right here, I'm going to show you in a second. Got to get a hammer. Um, these city wall blocks are one of my Let's see. absolutely Shift. favorite blocks to work with. I just, they're just, they look so good. Oh, what is that? This is the city wall. Oh, okay. You know what? That actually helps me. What I was trying to do, though, sort of. What were you trying to do? Well, I wanted to put like a pillar of um, the bone. Oh like, yeah, but you need you need a foundation to put. I, it. I didn't realize that that was what I was missing was the foundation. Just for just for the looks on the outside of the door. Like that. There we go. And I guess you can't do it, uh... Anything else? Nope. Can't do it any other way. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And... Can't quite... Oh, yeah, no, I can. No. I'll be daytime yet. Ah. Turn stay real quick. Dang, what is that? Bring those out. Those are the tall stone, uh... Dang. Brazier. <clears throat> okay. Nice. So far out. I've been doing so much decorating my other base, I'm like, yeah, I'll do a little decorating here. I'm not gonna go crazy. Right. I've now switched against the chair. I gotta, I gotta put this in the, the right distance so you can still sit in the chairs, but it's close enough. Oh, there we go. There we go. No. Can't. We have a little patio space. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm probably going to over time change out most of this base with these city wall blocks because I'd much rather live in a city wall block house. Because mm. it just 
this stuff just looks so nice. Again, I'm using this as the flooring for a lot of places in my base. Uh, all my all my main areas, the common areas in my base and my other solo world with the city wall yeah. blocks. They just work so well for it. Yeah, it looks good. And they're not that expensive. It's stone and dirt. It's 10 stone and 2 dirt per 100 blocks. So it's a lot more expensive than the rough stone blocks, but that's still easy. But not as bad, stone right? Stone and dirt are not hard to get. Those materials the... we're not worried okay. about getting. Well, the bones aren't hard to get either, too. So that's what I'm going to start going after. So I'm going to start highlighting some stuff, doing accents with the bones. Yeah, that works. Oh, no, wrong box. Let's see which box Ooh. had the blocks. This one. We have an up. We have. Mm, okay, I gotta do this. Okay. Uh, yep. I need you. Is this enough? Yeah. Okay, and then putting that box back. Which key do you want me to grab? The. We have The rubble wood key. Okay, got it. Okay. And then what are you doing up there? Oh, you opened it up. Okay. Nice. And I'm starting to replace with city wall blocks. I see. Okay. I mean, we put this out here, so hey, we have another little balcony area. And uh, we'll slowly get this all replaced with city wall blocks. Because okay. at least, even if we're just doing all the same type of block in one area, you know, it'll it'll be better. Although, realistically, actually, what we'll want to do is this. <laughs> I'm changing everything up. Yeah, you are. Now, the moment I got started thinking about decorating, now we can't stop it. Now it's, now it's here. What is that? This oh. is the half timber blocks. Oh, okay. <clears throat> For the walls. Yeah, so I figure the ground floor can be all city wall, and then upstairs can be this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems relatively fitting. <laughs> It'll make this place start looking a little nicer. And it's it'll make it look a little nicer without us having to go crazy on it. Like we're not we're not gonna go insane on decorating, but just throwing a couple little blocks in a little differently. Yeah. Just, yeah, slight change. Light adjustment. Half timber, hollow, city wall block. Yeah, so if we use city wall blocks and uh, half timbered blocks. Okay. I think we'll be pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's starting to look a little better. Except for now we have to put um, something around the, the outside all the way around so I can do the bone pillars all the way up. That'll be, yeah, city wall block foundations. That'll be fine. We That's what that. you did? Okay. Yeah, mm. it's a city wall block foundation. Yeah. <gasps> Nice. Well, that's cool. You could jump up to the second floor with the double jump. Oh, yep. Yeah, because yeah, double jump just uh, makes everything in the game so much easier. Big time. There you go. That's all I can do for now. Okay. With uh, the half timbered blocks, at least. Uh, let me go see. I think you can still do some city wall blocks. No, we're out of stone. I still have some city wall blocks on me. We just need regular wanna... stone. Yeah. And we have plenty of dirt, so we can always grab them. I'm just going to grab some stone. I'm just going to do the foundation around the outside for now. Okay. We'll just do that. We'll leave it as is after that. And also, we could put a legitimate roof on this base if we want to at some point. I actually haven't used roof... I haven't used the roof tiles. Oh. Uh, since my solo okay. world, I'm I'm living in underground. I don't have roof tiles. Okay, that makes sense. So I haven't actually used any and seen what they look like because, yeah, 
kind of hard to do roof tiles on the ground. Same thing with uh, I don't have a lot of windows because nope. when your entire yeah. face is on the ground, there's you don't need a lot of windows. Each each person each. So for those in the chat who don't know, in my solo world, every um NPC has their own like shack in my underground base. Okay. I just put in. Oh, there you go. You just made it. You just made stuff. <laughs> yes, I did. Do you need more? I mean, we we will. We don't necessarily have to go crazy now, but we can if we want to. If you want to keep grabbing more, uh, cause it's, it's gonna take a lot. The foundations are what are really costly. Okay. So I just used all. I used everything I had. Hmm, uh, that's interesting. Luckily, I have plenty of dirt because. We have so much dirt in the uh, in the charcoal kilns. We can just grab some of that if we really need it. Okay. But I probably need about two, maybe three hundred more, two to three hundred stone oh, to finish the foundations on the outside. Like I said, building starts the moment you stop building with rough stone and rough wood. Building starts getting more expensive. It's not that expensive, but it's yeah. But you still got to still got the resources though. Yep. Yeah, you have to spend time. That's the thing. That's okay. That's half the playing of the game though. When you can build things like that, is building mm -hmm. your base and designing, and that's part of the gameplay. Yeah. I figure we may as well spend some time doing that. Get a little of that in. It's good filler time. We'll, we'll want to end soon. We'll just we'll get we'll get the foundation on the outside done. That's what we'll do. We'll get that done. Okay. After we get that done, we'll be. I think that'll be good. So we'll still I'll still need some more stone. You want to grab some more? Why? I, I did. I just got seventy five. Put it in a box. Okay. Cool. All right. That'll take care of a lot of it. Let me do this. This area a little better. How far down can you dig in this game? Seems like pretty far. Uh, I would say at least 160 meters. Wow. I, I no guarantee that's true. I just know that the uh, the flame altar is uh our flame altar's range is 160 by 160 oh. by 160. I see. So okay. I'm just working with that as an assumption. Like, yeah, that's probably it. I guess that makes sense. Okay, we still need more stone. We're we're getting there. Okay, I'll come back. I, I got more. I'm gonna eat. <clears throat> One thing that makes it a little easier for me, which is I'm going to use a piece of sugar cane quickly. I'll go get some more. Yeah, I just put in 80 more. That's not enough. Okay. Uh, I think one. if we do one more batch of mining where we each get like 60 or so, that's probably going to be okay. enough to get us the finale of this. Okay. It's just because the, uh, the foundation... Walls and stuff aren't as costly. Foundations... Um, building these uh, large foundations cost a lot of blocks. So Two hundred fifty-six blocks. Oh, a foundation like yep, that. I know. Yep, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> but like the walls are cheap. See, everything else is cheap. It's because the foundations are so thick. They're large and also really deep. Which kind of what you want for a foundation. Yeah, true. Makes it more stable. Grab a little more stone over here. Let's see. Whoops, wrong button. Ah, we're 
we're actually almost done. Um, if you come back with any stone, actually, okay. yeah, fi finish whatever you're doing with the stone. We need one more foundation block, but we're gonna need more to replace the walls and stuff later on, so. Right. Okay. There's 83 now inside of the box. Cool. Change that placement a little bit. And I need that much to make this final thing. Okay. There we go. The uh, the wraparound little patio is all done. Nice. Okay. Well, next time I can put the, the bones up then. Yep. I'm working bones. I like the sound effects. As you start digging and you become more in a cave, it actually changes the sound. Oh, nice. It's yeah, kind of realistic. I've noticed that before. It has like an echoey kind of sound. That's neat. I don't, I don't know if that's going to work with this. Find out. Excellent. I might have to do something a little different there. Okay. It'll I work. Just... I, might have to, I might have to do this a little differently. Find out. What happens if I put it down here? All right. Um, put that yeah, there. I don't think that's going to be how I want it. Yeah, no, it blocks part of the window. Okay, it's fortunate. Unfortunate. I can do this a different way. But I can't do it the way I liked. Didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to do this. Nope, let's see. Um... Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. How did that happen? What did you do? I I just deleted a wall. <laughs> That's not what I was looking to do. <laughs> I did that. Oh, man. Okay, Oops. this will work. It's not my favorite, but it'll work. Yeah, there we that, go. that'll be sufficient. Okay. Well, we wanted to replace that wall anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, now that, we're on, now that we started the path of decorating... um. We're going to have to go get a lot more clay. After we do the dungeon, we're going to have to get a lot more clay next time. Um, Because we're going to have to do roof things and other stuff like that. Okay. Uh, we just we just opened the door to madness, so you know. Of course. That's we're going to do the awesome. dungeon next time and then just do nothing else but, but building. Oh, <laughs> wolf. These wolves still attack me as if they think they can actually do anything to me. <laughs> Although, I do... If you just stood there, they could. <laughs> they can. Uh, the wolf can do five damage to me. See? And the only reason they can do damage to me is there is a, uh, a damage limit. Um, mm. Currently, my armor, because uh, I, I have a perk that helps with it, I can block 70% of damage that's dealt to me. Mm. You can block 60%. So no matter how much armor you have, you can't... Block uh, everything. Yeah. Makes sense, though. Can't be too overpowered, right? Yeah, well, especially because the way it works in this is it is strictly uh, one point of resist is one point less damage. So because they're doing that, it kind of needs <clears throat> to be a little different. Oh, is that like a little spell. awning? A roof awning? Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's not perfect. It looks all right from the side. Uh, we have extra walls. It doesn't look as well over here in this little balcony area, but that's fine. Ooh, actually. Uh, 
Oh man, you you, you got me going. Um, <laughs> not I don't think that one. No, uh, maybe. Uh, maybe actually, no, it might be it. Let me find out. Let me find out. I'll try a couple of those. Let me do the other one. I need to. Uh, I'm doing something important now. <clears throat> Building yeah, is fine. I think these, these roof, these, those roof tile blocks are probably the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess like this. Um, so, I'm gonna do that. I need to do this. My pleasure. This may make it look a little better. Uh, but yeah, we need basically a bunch of clay to do the oh. thing that we're gonna do here. Okay. <clears throat> To uh, finish the shingles and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, I need a lot of it. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, I can't double jump now. Oh, now you can't double jump up on top of that roof. Oh, you can't double jump on the awning, yeah. Uh... <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it's because uh, the... I guess the tile makes it... Oh, it's actually weird because it's... I mean, it is technically, it's sort of the same height, but I guess the, the texture on the outside is a little different. It's a little harder. Something like that, yeah. That's fine. Man, sometimes getting it to land where you want it to go is hard. Ugh. At least now, no one will be able to say that we are living in just a box. That's right. Be able to say we're just living in a a, a stone box anymore. I mean, there's still gonna be so much work to do in this place, but uh, we'll get there. <laughs> Definitely more decorative now, though. Mm-hmm. Thought of something I need. Okay. Oh no! Oh, almost fell off. <laughs> railing. I like it. Yeah. Let's see. There. Sufficiently outlined with a little bit of bone of our enemies. As you put it. Very nice. I have to do one more thing here. I check this. Okay. Um, what'll work? Those could. Oh, those are the most fitting. Let's do yeah. a wide wall. Yeah, that would be the most fitting. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I had a window. There we go. Let's see. There we go. I replaced the wall I took down. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's a little off center. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's hard to see from another angle, aren't it? Yeah, I'm sure it is, yeah. You also have nice. to get up on the pillar to even do it. Um... Hang on, nope, towards you. Looking. Towards you. More. More. Smidgen more. I'm to go very slowly. And then uh, slightly to your right. A little bit more. More. Okay, that's probably good. That's pretty close. It's, it's a little bit off, but it's way better. Yeah, I'm okay with it being a little off. 
Like we're not gonna we're not gonna get perfect. But yeah, no. I figure we do that in all four corners. Okay. It's it's set for it. And then Neat. we'll be able to double jump back. Because then you can you could double jump onto that, and then you can go from oh. there and double jump up here. <laughs> we'll do. Uh, nice. Yeah, we'll do this. So I made all four already, so we can okay. sort of place them. All right, to your right. More. More, 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 more. A little bit more. Okay, and then towards you quite a bit. Ooh, just a smidgen more. Ooh, that's really good. That one's actually probably pretty close to perfect. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> At least you don't have to lose material when you build something wrong and you have to destroy it. Yeah, like some games. Back, which is so nice. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, almost great. A little bit to your right. Oh, wrong thing. That way. A little bit more. Okay, and a little bit away from you. That's what I thought. A little bit more, and you're good. Okay. Yeah, now that I know what it looks like a little bit, it's getting easier to okay. sort of do the placement. It's just, at first, I had no idea. Now I'm like, okay, I'm starting to see based on what you're saying is, like, the right. Okay, sorry. So I got go, like, stuck here. getting some water. Uh, here, I think. That. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, I yeah. think you got it. Yeah. yeah. Took three or four of them, but we got there. <laughs> there we go. Right. We got that. Now you can you can double jump on here, and then double jump back onto here. Hey, it works. Yes, yeah, so we need a bunch nice. of clay next time. Uh, we have some fired bricks, which is good. Um, okay. Uh, we're, I was going to use those for another smelter, but you know we'll use those. We'll use them for shingles. Okay. Who needs a third smelter when you can have when you can put the uh, the awning over your place? <laughs> oh, that's what's sticking out. Um, the drying oh. rack is clipping through the wall yeah. on the outside. I thought it was a, sh a shelf. I couldn't tell what it was. I thought it was too, but I was like, I had no clue what it was. Yeah, um, it's that thing sticking out just a little bit. That's funny. Yeah, well, we can fix that though. Nice. Sort of. I can't really because she's there. Oh, you have to just relocate it. Could you grab yeah, could you grab a summoning staff and move her slightly? Oh, yeah. Because I placed it and then I uh yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I placed it and then I put her in front of it before we realized, but now so now I can't actually move the thing forward. So you, you, you just grab the summoning staff and throw her down there for now and then we'll place it and we'll put her back. Uh who is this? This is the hunter. Okay. Hi hunter. <clears throat> Okay, now you can bring her back up and put her. I think in front it's of backwards. It. it is. I mean, now it's not sticking out. We can place her down, and we're all good. I'm gonna place her a little bit to the side. There we go. Now we just made her job easier to dry that stuff. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go put the stuff I'm holding on to away, and then I'm, and then I'm ready. Okay. Because right. uh, I know we were planning to end, and then we were just like, let's get decorating. Right. It's all good. It was fun. So we gotta make sure we'll... next time we gather resources, we bring them back and don't go skimpy on that stuff. No, we need uh, we need a lot of clay. So much clay to do what we're trying to do here now. And bones, uh, just in yeah, case we, we want to add bones to anything. Yep. Actually, we should just grab everything, just so we have it. Any type of building resource. Who knows what yeah, we want to make. a lot of things. Right? But yeah, this is, this is starting to come together. Uh, oh, what also might work... We could do, like, different types of staircases, even. You know, it doesn't have to match. It doesn't have to be the same mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, but it's... The place has come together a bit now. And now there's more lighting outside, so it's going to be easier to see what's going on around outside the base. That's true. Now we have outside lighting. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this this bill has come together. 
uh, one more batch of scooping water. We've also, uh, by sticking home, we've collected a lot of water. Yeah, I have 40. I think um, it still might stack higher than 40. Yeah, and there's 36 in the box over here. I don't I don't hold on to water because I use the Camille T. Mm. So I don't actually keep water in my inventory. Um, what does Camille T we, give you? Uh, Camille T is plus four health regen, plus two endurance. Oh man! So you don't get you don't get the uh, the stamina regen that the water gives you. Right. But you get health regen instead. Okay, I should probably start making some of that then. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to get a bunch of cameo and we can do it. It's not hard for that one. I mean, we'll be switching it up too, because uh, once we get the almanac, uh, we'll be able to do Roybo's T. Right. But you can see here, Roybo's T is plus three endurance, plus seven stamina recharge. That's what I currently use on my world. Okay, I won't use that though. I'll use the other one. I'll use chamomile yeah, use too. Where do you cook the chamomile tea? In uh, her inventory. Oh, in her inventory. Oh, okay. Farmer. Yeah, farmer endurance. Click chamomile tea ends right there. Actually, we have a lot of stuff for it. I'm gonna make sure okay. I have ten. Glad to have. So we've been collecting a lot of water, so I can actually grab some. Um, yeah, and then oh. I'll have to put an actual. We'll have to put an actual uh, roof on this place too afterwards. Okay. But that won't be too big of a problem. We'll just have to get lots of clay for it, and it'll be fine. I love you, Bubby. But yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, we also need lots of plant fibers. You need you need fired bricks, lumps of clay, and plant fiber to make uh, those shingles. All right. Why am I not? You said in her inventory, the farmer? I don't see chamomile tea. Farmer, go to endurance. It'll put you on rooibos tea oh. first. But if you look, it's also chamomile. Uh, got it. Yep. Yeah, okay. you have to click over for a lot of them. Uh, we'll, and... also be able, we'll also be able to make uh, we'll be able to make sugar once we get the almanac too, which will help with mining because sugar is plus twenty stamina recharge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be able to get some upgraded stuff next. Less well, efficient. maybe next time. Okay. Next time's probably gonna be more of a building day. <laughs> <laughs> All Ooh, right. No. What we what we should do next time actually is uh, do the dungeon. Do the blacksmith's tools. This way we can start crafting bronze and tin. Okay. This way we can get the stuff crafting while we're building. Okay. Well, I'm down for that. This sounds good. Yeah, cause that that makes that makes sense to me. This way, as we're like building and gathering resources, we continue like working on our base. We can, that stuff can be like churning away in the background. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Oh, awesome. So much better. I mean, the inside's still disorganized mess of furniture. Yeah, what we could uh, do right here is build a staircase to go to this floor right here. Right here, since we have it open. Yeah. But you can definitely do something like that next time. Yeah, okay. All right, well, this was fun. Yeah, we got a lot And I will be... Um, I'm going out of town next week, but not till after Sunday, so I'll be available again Sunday. Oh. <clears throat> Very nice. Yeah. Um, actually, I probably will be around multiple Sundays in a row until um, beginning of May, I think, actually, so. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, next next time I know I'm going to be gone is in June. I have a, okay. I have a work trip in June. Well, okay. Well, we're taking a vacation cool. in Hawaii um, nice. mid or early May, so. Yeah, I have to... Uh... I'm going to Amsterdam for work oh, in June. And for work. That's awesome. Amsterdam, huh? Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm excited for it. It'll be nice. Uh, also, by the way, I used up all your resin. Um, we currently oh, have that's no okay. I, I still got a lot of spells. I made up... Uh, let's see, how many do I have left? And, uh, I still also, have 60 once left. We get bronze, once we get bronze going, we'll be able to make, you'll be able to make your eternal one, so it won't matter too much. Oh, okay. Once you have eternal fireball, we'll be fine. Oh, that's what we're missing is stuff outside, huh? On the second floor. I just put a, I just put a single light out there. I put the move okay. the throne out here and just put the light out. This way you can see out here. Okay. On the balcony. Nice. Hey, we're good now. <clears throat> awesome. All right, let's get All ready right. to head out. Yeah. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us, everybody, and uh, catch you on another stream. For this one, next week, it'll be us, but I'm going to do Darkness Fall starting Tuesday. Very nice.
Yeah, I haven't done that in this whole Alpha, Alpha 21, for seven days, so I'm looking forward to that. But uh, otherwise, 